Hi, welcome to WiseCat, and Happy New Year. Um, it's now 2024, and uh, I have to kind of apologize because, you know, forgive me, YouTube, for I have not been making content. Uh, it's been two months since my last video, and uh, I figure I'd better let you guys know <laughs> Uh, that I'm still here, um, and so I've actually decided to make this video to just say, hey, uh, what I'm thinking about doing in the near future, and it also explain where I've been. Uh, so let's get straight to it. The place where I've been, uh, essentially, is I went back to school. Uh, Moodle Academy, I kind of discovered this, um, well, discovered, it's, it's a terrible thing. I didn't make it or anything either. Like this is the learning hub for the global Moodle community, and if you're interested in all things Moodle, like I am, um, this is cool. Uh, they've got different pathways for educators versus administrators versus developers. And I don't actually know a heck of a lot about developing. So um, you might recall that I made a, a plugin for an accessibility uh, module, but um, more on that a little bit later. I'll give you an update. But um, no, this uh, developer course, I've just been taking this and you know learning a whole bunch of stuff that I did not know. Um, but they've also got teaching basics and admin basics, which I haven't had a chance to look at yet, but I really am actually um, interested in taking a look. Uh, I mean, I it says beginner there, and I guess I'm not a beginner, but hey, there's always stuff that you find out that you go, why didn't I ever know that before? So, um, I don't know, all levels, I, I would say, you know, cool, cru cruise on in, check it out. Um, I've been having a ball on... Uh, uh, Moodle Academy thus far, so I really recommend that. That's good stuff. Um, the other stuff that I've got, I've actually got a list here. Let me grab my list. Um, yeah. <laughs> True to form, right? Uh, okay, so this is the first video that I've decided that I need to make. Whereas, why <laughs> did he go to YouTube? Uh, no, I didn't. Well, I kind of did two months. Sorry, no videos in two months. That's that's terrible, isn't it? Uh, but anyway, and an accessibility plug. I'm going to kill these two off today. All right, so that's what we're going to do. But this is the stuff that I'd actually like to do um, over the next couple of uh, months. And so uh, I also discovered uh, updating wisecat.net. Uh, so this is my, my short list, right? Uh, accessibility plugin update. I'll give you an update on that today. Uh, also, the review of new features of 402 and 4.3. I never got to do an unboxing of 402, and I still haven't got around to a 403 yet because I'm figuring, oh, I should go back to the 402. I'll probably do an unboxing of both of them at the same time. Um, yeah, I'm lazy like that. Uh, also, upgrade procedures. I remember there was a, a somebody, a viewer, was actually asking about a way to upgrade from 3.8. And there are PHP updates and things like that I also need to put in place because the PHP minimum versions are required changing. So I'd like to do a video basically going through that and actually, say, starting out on something like PHP 7.4 and updating the PHP as well, and then maybe even say a PostgreSQL um, update of the cluster or a, um, well, I actually do have another request is for a MySQL uh, a backup video to be improved. So probably do that as well sometime. And I got a whole bunch of these uh, ideas for videos that I, I want to actually get to. And this is not a promise list, by the way, because um, this all depends on, first of all, whether I get time. And second of all, uh, Am I going to get sidetracked by something else that's really cool? Um, but anyway, yeah. Also, there was another viewer question about um, plugins through the CLI. And there's a really cool script, actually, in the uh, Moodle CLI called Uninstall Plugins, which can do much more than uninstalling plugins. So I'd like to actually um, take a quick look at that in a video one time, sometime soon as well. Uh, filter plugins as well. One of the things that I've noticed is that I'd forgotten about completely is that the glossary filter and the uh, database filter auto linking not enabled by default on Moodle, but those things are so powerful. So I'd just like to um, do a quick video uh, introducing that. LTI connecting a couple of Moodles together. That is some pretty cool stuff. Um, so I'd like to do that at some time. And a Moodle box Redux because uh, my old Moodle box video is missing a whole bunch of features that I should have introduced. And so I, you know, <laughs> a lot of the list is, yeah, stuff that I messed up and I should have done better. Uh, another look at Bitnami <laughs> and one-click one installers. Um, do I really want to 
look at one click installers. Uh, maybe I don't, but um, anyway, uh, that's on the list. Moodle builds on Docker containers. I've had a few questions about that. And Docker is interesting because you can run just part of your Moodle on a Docker or um, other parts. And this actually comes in together with the next one, which is the new matrix integration. So you can actually run matrix as messaging for Moodle nowadays. But to do that, you need a Synapse server at least. And if you don't want to use um, Element uh, there, if you want to use your keep it all in-house, you're going to have to run your own Element server as well. And an easy way to get those up and running is through Docker. So I'd like to um, perhaps, you know, maybe even combine these into a playlist or something. And also uh, another update that's happened in Moodle in recent years is the Tiny MCE went to Atto, but now we're back again on Tiny MCE, but not really back because we're forwards on M Tiny MCE because it's the new Tiny MCE. And so I'd like to have a bit more of a look at that and see what's different, what's new, and things like that. Um, I'd, I'd also love to, I've been toying around with this idea for ages, but um, doing plug-in plugs and, you know, just finding some plugins. This is just a real short list. I was just spitballing, uh, but Learn R, uh, Adminer, Moodle Adminer, Filter Codes, and Message My Teacher Block are some of my favorite plugins. Um, I just love these ones. So I'd like to, you know, introduce them, give them a bit more airtime, perhaps uh, encourage other people to install them and reap the benefits. Um, and also, uh, viewers, questions, ideas, and things like that, you know, you, when you guys write co questions or ideas in the comments, I do actually take them to heart, and I really, I mean, these are questions from months back, and I'm so sorry I have not actually got to them yet, but, um, I do want to get to them, and I do want to actually, um, handle your questions, so if you do have questions, in particular, put them in comments in this video here, because I will totally be looking for, um, ideas in this video and if your ideas are more interesting than what i've already come up with um they're bound to get plot priority because i prefer to do interesting um stuff um anyway uh that's basically the stuff that i've got let's knock on uh this accessibility plugin update so i'll go back to my firefox sure so um oh yeah by the way i also another one the update video and this is how terrible I am, man. I, I, you know how I go around and I tell everybody, you know, updating your Moodle is so easy with Git, you know, if I, well, you look at my notifications page and you see that I'm still, on, I'm on Moodle 4.1. I I'm, I'm not walking the walk, man. I should totally. So anyway, this is an out of date website now, uh, which is great because I can do a video where I update it. <laughs> um, in my defense, it's on 4.1 and 4.1, if you look at the release pages, is an LTS version. So it's not actually out of date. Security support is uh, good until uh, December 2025. So I've got plenty of time to go. Um, I probably will, when I do update it, go through 4.2 and 4.3. Uh, to get up to uh, the latest Moodle, but um, I'm not terrible with the security stuff. I'm still sticking to an LTS. So um, if you are going to be late, uh, be um, slow with uh, updating uh, Moodle from uh, edition to edition, go for your LTSs because they keep you secure. And you'll see with my Moodle, um, yeah, I have not um, failed to keep it up to date with my git pulls and things like that. So there is that. See, I'm not too bad, am I? Anyway, um, the other stuff. Okay, so accessibility plugin update. Here we go. Uh, so with the help of Marcus Green, he was fantastic. Um, you might recall in my last video, I was putting out a, a, a cry for help. And Marcus Green stepped in and was my knight in shining armor. Um, he's basically taken me under my wing, under his wing, and been a great mentor. Um, so he helped out. You know, he checked over our code, gave me some really good advice about how to actually get it into the um, the plugins database. He actually, perhaps the biggest thing that he did was gave me the confidence to actually go through with it, and and add it to the plugins database. So it's actually there now and waiting for approval. So it's not publicly available yet. If you guys try to go to this web page, you will not find it um, because it'll just say this plugin is not, well, wait a minute. 
If I go here and if I open a private window, this is what you guys will see. It's been submitted to the plugins directory, but was not published yet or was temporarily disabled. Oh, that's rude. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> it is there. And when it gets approval, it will become fully available and everyone will be able to use it. It's, we've got a version that's compatible with 4.0 to 4.3. So your latest version should all just work. Um, it's interesting that it's apparently already installed on 19 sites. So that's encouraging. <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, if you do want to get it ahead of schedule, you can actually get it through the GitHub uh, link. There was a link in the last video. I'll probably add another one to this uh, um, video's um, uh, description as well. And also, there is a way that perhaps you can help. Now, I don't really know that much about the process yet, but uh, this is the um, the tracker um the Moodle tracker so a new plugin has been submitted this was automatically generated when I submitted the plugin and I actually submitted the plugin back in November uh, but it's still in a queue for adding and I don't know maybe it I, the thing that I don't know is it's got this feature here called votes on the right hand side uh, yeah right hand side so behind my head yeah this one here it says votes and I think if you log in, you have the opportunity to vote for this issue. So I voted for this issue because it's my issue. Um, I don't know. Um, let's see. I'll leave the link to the actual uh, tracker. I'll leave the link to this URL down below. And if you could, if you do have a tracker account or something, please feel free to log in and show some love for the accessibility plugin by giving it a vote and uh, perhaps start watching so you'll be able to see where all the problems are because apparently this is in the process and I'm first timer around this but um, process is that the feedback's actually going to come through here so especially if you're a dev, dev and you can uh, maybe help solve some of these problems that I don't know what's going to come out I'd appreciate it <laughs> Uh, the other piece of news that I've got is we're coming up to February, and in February there is a Moodle Moot. Haha, <laughs> going to be held at Nagasaki International University, and I will totally be there. Um, it's going to be a blast. It's right next to House 10 Boss in um, Sasebo. So, Nagasaki International University, Japan Moodle Moot. This thing is awesome. Um, so, I'm going to be there. So, if you can make it, if you're in Japan, or if you're... Um, just felt like, hey, this is a good time to go to Japan um, and get your Moodle on. Get you know, Come on, join us, and um, I'd, I'd love to meet you there. Okay, so that's basically the update. Um, I'll try to get uh, the other videos with a bit more decent content out sometime soon. Uh, Happy New Year. I uh, hope all the best for you in 2024. And I hope to get you some more useful content coming real soon. Thank you. See you next time.